The cube is now in the center with face number one facing forward. All the strings are not twisted. So I'll now rotate the cube 360 degrees. So that face number one is facing forward again. And another 360 degrees. So face number one is again facing forward. I'll pull the top strings down. Pull the bottom strings up and over the top of the cube. Notice that the cube has not rotated since the initial 300 and, uh, 720 degrees. And also notice that the strings, the top and bottom strings, are no longer twisted together. I'll pull these strings tight. You can see the top strings are no longer twisted. And the bottom strings are no longer twisted. So we're back to our initial state. So how is this whole thing built in case you want to make your own? I've simply taken a cardboard box, cut out all the sides, including the back, but I've left the top and the bottom intact, and drilled three holes, one, two, three in the top, and one, two, three in the bottom, simply by pushing through an exacto knife and twisting it. Um, I then my cube is simply a piece of chunk of balsa wood, numbers written on the faces, and uh, nails pushed in, and then strings tied to the nails. Those strings are then pushed up through the holes. So one string, two strings, and three strings. And then the strings are simply tied with duct tape, or taped with duct tape. And I've done a similar type thing for the bottom here. One, two, three strings. So to compress space, I simply pull on the string. To uncompress it, I release the spring. So it seems a little bit easier than using elastic bands. Elastic bands get twisted and then tight and might be hard to work with. This, this worked well.